Today's artist of the day, Euphastesia. Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well with you. Welcome back to another video. Um, missed y'all, missed y'all. I hope we're all doing well today. We're back with another artist of the day review. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different uh, for mainly for two reasons really. Well, one reason, one reason I mean. Well, the, first of all, this is, Euphastesia is the last CE we actually need to review. And the, what makes this review gonna be a little bit different, I guess, it's gonna be structured the same, but my, my critiques might be a little bit um, different, simply because he, is actually a DJ. Um, Euphys he's a producer as well, but Euphastesia is actually the one, our only CE who got in as a DJ. And um, from rehearsals, he's really sick. I think he, he primarily works with uh, EDM and house music. And I was able to find that he actually had some mixes of his own on SoundCloud. So uh, he's the last guy that actually that, that is a CE and that, that has music out um, that I can review. So once we do this, all the ones, the rest, I think the rest of the people who are CEs that aren't, that don't have music out is Yako, Oluwatosin, Liv, and there's, I believe, I believe there's one more. So when they drop music, which is because they're so talented and they don't have music and it's annoying, when they come, when, the, when music drops, the reviews will come. Trust and believe me. Speaking of insect artists, uh, this Thursday, you know, we are having actually a competition versus the GGC. Uh, come see these, these these talented CEs, you know, live uh, at, on Georgia State campus. I'll leave a link down to Insect's Instagram down below to get more information about that because off the top of my head for the life of me, I can't remember where it's going to be at. I want to say Piedmont Central Dining Hall, but don't quote me on that. But come see it. It's going to be really dope. Come support where we go and beat you know, su subsequently beat, um, you know, the GGC pretty handily. I actually don't know the talent pool, so I have no idea, but I am excited. I am excited. Uh, so please, the link's down below to all that stuff. Please go check it out. Come show up. Come see, if nothing else, come see that some really great, talented upcoming artists and definitely gatekeep, gate, gatekeep them as a fandom. Hey, you know, you want to come and say what's up? I'll be there. Probably getting some back footage or maybe possibly hosting. We got to see what they want from me. I have no idea. But yeah, come check it out. Thir GGC, October, you know, this Thursday. What am I doing? Now, these are a lot longer songs. So we're, we're going to have to really just cut straight into the point. Uh, we'll see what it goes. Uh, the first track is titled Onward. Oh, we about to turn up. We about to get immaculately lit, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Walking in the club and you act your real nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm getting bouncy with it. All right. Uh, uh, uh. We well, can't want to get it. Batman talking, she with it. Oh, uh, Batman, she with it. Take it around the block and I spin it. All right, so real, real quick, real quick, real quick. You fastesia. What we got to do to make an EDM rap song? Like, what we going to do? You going to make one of these sick beats and then I just, you know, rap. You know what I'm saying? We make some, like... Alan Walker rap thing. What what we doing? I because we I need to know. Ooh, okay. All right, we're building. I need. I like. We're building. Cyberpunk. Oh, those pianos are beautiful. Come on, give me more of those. Just dun 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 dun. dun. Come on, give me melodies, bro. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, this is kind of wavy. Wait. That pulse key, come on, man. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's hard. Hold up. Dun, 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 dun. What do you say? Say it one more time. Say it one more time. That's hard. That's hard. No, that melody's hard, yo. It's a... What do we do? Bro, if he had a synth lead over this, that'd be kind of hard. I ain't gonna hold you. I, he did not add strings to this. Don't tell me you did that. Relax. Okay, relax. Oh my God. I want to cry, dude. I'm faded, bro. Ooh. That's cool. I didn't, whoa, I was not expecting that. That was kind of dope. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> what the hell? I just want to, I just want to, I just want to, that's hard. Wait, wait. We in the cyberpunk lobby right now. 
Hitman 2, baby. You know when like that those that music where it's like the same all the time, but you don't want to skip it regardless. You know what? For a seven minute track, that did not feel like seven minutes. That was actually really, really solid. Uh, it took a while to get started. I will say that it took it was a, it was a bit, you know, I guess supposed to be minimalistic, like it, and all that to start. It, it it took a little bit to get going, but man, once it got going, that's great. It's fantastic. Mixing's really well, which is as expected because all it is is instruments. Um, well, the beginning it felt kind of iffy because the clap felt really, really loud. But as more elements were added, the, the throughout the song, the mixing really evened out. That it has like kind of this dance hall, like it's a dance hall house, man. And that key, that dun 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 dun, that's so catchy. I love that. And the outro was a bit weird in terms of the drums and the thing and the just the hat by itself. I think it went too long as just that towards the end. But other than that, the elements in, in the middle and everything, like the whole bulk of the song was really, really solid. And it, it's not meant to be so complex. I, there were, I would feel like there were some spots that he really could have just made it even bigger just to help switch up the groove. Um, like a few leads to go over the main melody, really, to like just to add some more dynamics and change to it. Uh, I feel like that riser sound was used so much that it kind of lost its own from time to time. Sorry, there was a fly. Um, but... Overall, this is a really good start. It's really groovy and it, it feels it's very cinematic too. It feels like you could definitely put this on like a lot of soundtracks for like video games and all that stuff. And it's um, while it is a lot, a lot, it's very repetitive as a lot of how house music is. It's still engaging enough for you to just jam out and rock out to it. So I think it's a great start. Next track is called Three Years Later. You know, the issue with SoundCloud before we get into it is literally because I don't have the pro version, so I just... Telephones. Extraterrestrial content. Mmm. Sandwich recipes. I don't care. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about here. We build it. We world build it here. Welcome to a new land. Zadia. I swear Pads. Hello. I'm in trance. <laughs> Hello, your man's. Uh, I've been in trance, yeah. Uh, I've been in trance, yeah. Uh, I've been. In oh, these building, these pads or streets are phenomenal. Yeah, we'll never go. It's wavy, bro. Just... That was subtle. All oh, these transitions are smooth, man. All oh, they're smooth. That's what he's trying to drown you in this world right now. And I'm immersed. I'm in the magical land. What happened three years later? What was prior to the three years? Because I need to know. Those pads are so good. I'm sorry. Oh, he doubled it up. <laughs> Did he just add a vocal chop in there? Who was that? They sounded amazing. Bring them back. I tell you, man, some like house hats. <laughs> that is hard, yo. What is she even saying? What is she saying? Who is that? And what are they saying? Because I need to know. They can't rap like me. I'm not chilling on my homies and the cronies and the phonies. I said, the phonies. Yeah. Oh, that song was cool. That song was cool. Um, that was. It felt more like heavy on the ambiance. I, and I love the part where he like really brought it down. It was really quiet and built it back up again. Uh, that little vocal chop towards the end was a nice element too. Um, those little bells that would come in from time to time sounded a bit like... I, meant I know they're meant to be abrupt, but they weren't mixed in all the way, so it felt kind of very, like, awkward. But besides that, everything else is fantastic. The foundation of those pads or strings or you know, pads that are meant to imitate strings, really, really, really good. Really set the tone really well, and it, it felt like, a, you know, an adventure uh, of something. And, just, it, 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 and a, that one felt more like an actual story. 
throughout instrumentals rather than the other one. Um, which, again, I don't know if that's the purpose, but, you know, solid. I like that. I like that. And when he doubled up the pads at the end, it was a nice switch up. It changed and moved. It felt, it progressed really well. So, solid work. Solid work. Next track is called GFY. Not the dog. Oh walker, my god, the these ads. Finally ah! See, this is why y'all need to subscribe and share these videos. Not just to help the artists and hit that like button as well. But most importantly, so we can start getting money so I can don't have to deal with stuff like this and then more money will go into the channel to make things more spicy. So like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Oh my god, don't speak this to my list. No way. No way. Play the song. Let's get some house music. DJ in the bank, you vestige, making it all the way to the bank. That's what I'm not. It's really dark and edgy. I like it. Oh, that boo! <laughs> oh, that pulse is so nasty. Oh my goodness. Well, now I know what it stands for. Good to know. This is nasty. I'm sorry, it's subtle, but the direction it's going right now, this is... It's just the constant melodies are really, really solid here. I, I feel like you could you could put the um, the vocal chop in more and have it echo more. Just honestly, bro, go fuck yourself. Like, well, sell, 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 sell. That track was cool. Uh, I liked how it started. It started stronger than it finished. Um, I think the darker cryptic bass that he went with and the darker fun like foundation was really really good there's a lot of great stuff there and the little child which says honestly go fuck yourself it's fr it's hilarious but it's it's really good dip uh, a really good little section that transitions and the transition where it gets like really really low and quiet to when it rises up is really good i just felt like the highs could there was never an arrival point here which might not have been the point which is understandable but I just feel like a little bit more, it was a little bit, it felt a little bit bare bones. It did feel a little bit bare bones. And it doesn't have to be the most complex thing in the world. But I feel like a lot more could have been added to keep it as interesting. Definitely as the last two. Next track is called Fossa. Did he really sample? He got the goat on the track. And I'm, oh my God, this is about to be amazing. It's a Fossa. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I'm a nerd, so this is amazing right now. I'm ascending. I'm in my ancestral planes. <laughs> the, the transition. These transitions are so nasty, dog. What is he doing? What is he doing? Like, relax. Ooh. That's hot. Ah! Okay, 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 uh, 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 do it again, uh, woo -hoo -hoo. Hold up, sorry, one second, I'm getting a call. Hello? Oh, hey, D Geometry Dash. What, you need more people, you need more music? Funny you should mention that. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> dude, this is what I'm talking about. This is great. Again, you're sick. Who allowed this to happen? This is so movie trailer. Oh my god. Am I dumb? What instrument is that? I know that instrument. That's so good. It might be a guitar, but I'm thinking it's a different... It's not a guitar per se, but it, it sounds like something else, but... That's really, really tight. We in the jungle. It's a royal rumble. 
Hey, don't like the fumble. Hey, welcome to the jungle, baby. We are going crazy. Hey, can you beat my lady? We too wavy. Sauce and gravy. Yeah. From the jungle, yeah. Like the Royal Rumble. Huh? This is the ambiance and atmosphere he created here. A1. Crazy, get a vibe to the jungle music. Hold on, hit him with a uh, hit him with a uh, hit him with a uh, uh. NPC dance and shit right here. What do you say? I honestly think that's the best one we've heard so far. I like that a lot. I, I don't have a playlist on SoundCloud, but say it with me. That's going on the play. First of all, shout out to my guy for sampling that. My, that guy is like the essence of my childhood. Because I used to watch nothing but documentaries. Like, no cartoons. I watched nothing but National Geographic. Mainly dinosaurs, because the first job I wanted to have was actually to be a paleontologist. And that guy is just resonates with my mind. Which is probably why I kind of like it. It's, it's interesting that he sampled it with that along with the ambiance of like a jungle and the rainforest and just wildlife in general he had that like, kind of going around and he had this very again kind of geometry dash infused with like the kind of like the donkey kong style of music if it was like edm in a way the skating percussion the really tight um keys i think all the playful melodies of it really just add to this feel and then the those gentle impacts that kind of resonate the silence and those little interludes of him talking were, were spursed out throughout the track um again felt made it feel entertaining it felt like an adventure and it immerses you in this kind of world of like we in the wild for real overall really really enjoyable work. that's my favorite so far really really good work and the final track we listen to is called excellent sound Bring up the percussive. Yeah, make this drill. Make this drill, drill EDM real quick. We are an Avenger. I'm an Avenger. We are an Avenger. Do you know what it means to have an excellent sound? Gather round. There's tales to be told. Those horns? Oh my god! I got a pocket rocket that'll pop your second when I pick your pocket when I say I'm like it can nobody stop it I'm the winning topic Ayy I'm the winning topic Ayy Can nobody stop it Ayy Oh I'm shaking the camera Jesus Christ Oh <laughs> Another day, who call me yay? Someone calling yay. Call back today. That definitely, indeed, was some excellent sound. Um, again, I like that one. I like those uh brass hits, those brass synths that were imitating horns or horns, really. Um, again, the dark edge that he went for in this one is really, really good. Um, on a shorter condensed time, it actually is a lot tighter. So the four and a half minutes. Um, it's definitely uh, an engaging four and a half minutes. The excellent sound is a really cool element. I love the part where he chops out the drums and there and like there's parts where we're like it's like transitioning, but then he lets the melody breathe and brings it back in. I think that was a really good element, a good switch up to keep it again very engaging. And, and it, I would say it kind of fizzled out towards the end, but again, strong start and like for three fourths of the song was really engaging. I think the outro with the drums, just being the drums, is actually a really good choice here because it just it really settles it down um and yeah it's really really good really really good all right that was the artist the producer the dj euphastesia how am i feeling about him as an artist overall i think he's really really dope um i think there's a lot of great fundamentals that he that he's clearly worked on countless hours and 
it's it's evident because it, there's a lot of it's a lot of great stuff here with house and me being a dj it's kind of hard to critique it because again i'm not a dj i'm trying to be a dj but on the production level the mixing's really tight uh the fundamental elements of what makes house music and edm music and electronic music in general is so ageless he's captured here great use of synths skating percussion chops that make it interesting um the only critiques or the things not even the critiques really because just the things i think would help elevate him to the next level to like people like a calvin harris and alan walker even though it's not necessary or like even just those type of songs i think his const consistent melodies and the the really fun parts he has down i just think if he literally were to add more elements to make things change and vary vary as especially as we get into songs that are five six seven almost eight minutes if he adds parts that just make the rises and falls more apparent um i think that will make it really good because his transition game is really good and when he brings them down to a really to, to the really like consequential low it's really, really impactful, and you feel it, and it gets really quiet and intimate. And he rises up, but we're rising up, and it's not landing anywhere. Like there's constant rises, and then there's the, and then but like the final moments, if it's for made for a track like that specifically, needs to be we've arrived. This is the point before we leave. This is the climactic point, and I feel like if we don't have that later on, we have it at the beginning. And then it's like here, fall here, fall here. We're never reaching a new high on certain songs. Um, but the potential for that is absolutely, like this, that's very, very doable. I can hear his music on a lot of soundtracks, on a lot of video games, especially. Um, like, again, okay, he was a very cyberpunk, futuristic type of feel consistently. Um, my favorite one is definitely Fossa for sure because man he sampled the the guy i forget i'm drawing a blank on his name and it's making me upset but like the ambiance and the world building he made right there was really really good uh, he has a very um he has a lot of cinematic parts in his music which i think is really really um essential to this type of style of music to be to stand out and the mixing was really good. So yeah, overall I'm really I'm really happy what I heard here and I can't wait to see what he does next and you know, you know, if you guys pull up to the GGC uh you know what I'm saying versus GSU match, you know what I'm saying, this Thursday, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You pull up, you might see him lay down some nasty things on the board. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to check out any of the songs listened to in their entirety, I will leave a link down to his to Euphastesia's Instagram and SoundCloud. Uh, be sure to go check it out because he also has a bunch of like remix remixes on here that's not his, but he does a bunch of mixes on here that look they're like lengthy, lengthy, like two hours. I'm not reviewing two hour things unless we go stream. If we start live streaming, then I'll do that. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps a lot with the channel. We'll be getting a lot of uh, new in incoming viewership and a lot of support so thank you guys so much you've been helping we're at like 257 subscribers which last time i checked we were at what 240 so thank you let's get this to 300 the goal is a thousand and let's 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 get this video up and let's share it and be sure to follow insect gsu down below um to get more information about the ggc or uh, gsu match today's artist of the day was euphastesia link like comment subscribe links down below stay safe take care of yourselves Jesus Christ. Stay hydrated. Love y'all. Bye-bye.